right, so we're here at the Security Analyst Summit with Santiago and Roberto, two researchers from Kaspersky Lab, and today you guys did a talk on ATM jackpotting, which is basically stealing money from an ATM. Can you tell me uh, a little bit about the research you did and what the attacks look like? Um, so basically we started with this research in 2014. We, we discovered a new sample in Mexico that was called Plotus. Before that there were, of course, many other samples like attacking ATMs in Latin America. But right now we are seeing like an increase in the number of samples. And this is really hard for us uh, to track because many banks and many entities don't want to share the samples. So to do this research, you need to go in the Latin American style. You need friends and friends of friends. Right. So once you get the samples, you can start with the analysis and track the bad guys. And what are the banks doing about it and what can consumers do to protect themselves? Well, I think that uh, the first thing is uh, update the operating systems of their ATMs and then install a uh, security solution, a uh, solution that uh, monitors everything in the ATM, avoid uh, the possibility that uh, any strange uh, insert, maybe some device, mm -hmm. some kind of device. And I think the could help. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we didn't only talk about malware, we talked also about uh, physical attacks. Yes. You know, it's very common in Latin America for the bad guys to chain the entire ATM and to take it off with a van or yes. to just explode everything and right. take out the money. <laughs> so, you know, this is low tech, but it works in Latin America. Right now, they are like a, a little more, fine, have more, have refined a little bit uh -huh. in, the, in the, the techniques. So, for us, it's better because we can track it. We don't want to mess with explosives or bans. So, yes, uh, many more samples. And it's, it's an ongoing investigation. I mean, it's not going to stop anytime soon. How successful were the attacks and what did the attacks look like? What did they do? Okay. So, um, for example, we talked about this sample that stole almost like uh, $64 million. And that was only in Mexico. And there are organized crews that their entire purpose in life is to steal money from ATMs. So you have like a money mule that takes the money from the ATM. You have someone that does all the programming and it's very technical. And you have the other guy, like the mastermind behind everything, just arranging who is doing what. So it's a very profitable business for them. Right, like a lot of cybercrime, it's an organized business. Yeah, yeah. correct. All right, gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Thank you.